everyone. Thanks for joining me today as we continue to talk about joy. My name is Stephanie, and I am glad you are here. Before we get started, let's sing together. You're with me all the time, helping me believe. Don't want to waste this life. You have given Sunrise gonna fix my eyes on the one who never fails 
Romans to find something we can do to help other people find joy. This is a really important idea because we know how good it feels when someone helps us find joy. And like Jesus taught us, we should treat others the way we want to be treated. The book of Romans was originally a letter written by the Apostle Paul to the believers who lived in Rome. Paul had never met these Jesus followers before, but he prayed for them often and he wanted to visit them. Paul wrote this letter because he wanted to encourage the believers in Rome and help them understand why God had sent Jesus to the world. In his letter, Paul explained to the Romans that God has sent Jesus to set us free. And because of what Jesus had done for us, we can now choose to show God's love to others. Paul shared how people who follow Jesus are set free from sin, from the wrongs they've done. And because of that freedom that Jesus has brought us, our lives can begin to look different. Listen to what Paul wrote in Romans 12 too. Don't live the way this world lives. Let your way of thinking be completely changed. Then you'll be able to test what God wants for you. And you will agree that what he wants is right. His plan is good and pleasing and perfect. Okay, wow. That was some really important advice that Paul gave. He said, let your way of thinking be completely changed. As we follow Jesus, God begins to change the way we think, and that changes the way we treat the people around us. Listen to the next part. Love one another deeply. Honor others more than yourselves. Yes, that's what it means to love others the way Jesus loves us, by treating others the way we want to be treated and honoring others more than ourselves. Paul went on to share a great idea about how we can show love in that way. Listen to what he said. Be joyful with those who are joyful. Be sad with those who are sad. We can share joy by trying to imagine what someone else is feeling. We can think about how we would feel if what happened to them happened to us. That can help us know how to be a really good friend and share God's love. It's fun to celebrate with someone when something good happens to them. And usually that feels pretty easy. Well, except maybe when they get something you want that you didn't get. But when we love someone, we can choose to celebrate with them rather than being jealous of what they have. That's what Paul meant when he said we should be joyful with people who are joyful. We should share their joy and also share our joy with them. But Paul also wrote that we should be sad with people who are sad. That's really important too. When someone is sad, sometimes the very best thing you can do is just be with them and let them know that you see how they feel. Sometimes people need someone to be sad with them for a while because that can help them find joy later. It's so important to love people by celebrating them with them and also being sad with them. That can help them find joy even if it's not right away. The more you learn to feel what other people feel, the more you'll be able to show God's love to others. And just like Paul encouraged the Romans to do. Remember what Paul wrote. Be joyful with those who are joyful. Be sad with those who are sad. If you can show love in the good times and in the tough times, you can help others find joy. And that's our bottom line today. You can help others find joy. Let's pray and ask God to help us do that. Dear God, thank you for Paul's reminder that we can help others find joy by loving them well. Please help us to treat others the way we want to be treated. Help us pay attention to the people around us, to notice what they're going through and really feel what they feel. Thank you for the way you've created us to bring joy to each other's lives, in the good times and in the tough times too. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining me today as we learn more about God's love for us and the joy we can have because of him. Be sure to have your family head to our website at crosspointweb.org family for information on how to sign up for the Parent Q app. The app 
app gives you many different ideas to connect with the story, along with ways to connect as a family. And don't forget to have your family subscribe to Crosspoint's YouTube channel. Be sure to hit that subscribe button too. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye-bye.